Hi everyone, my name is Liana Genovese. I'm the CEO and founder of Imaginable Solutions and the creator of our Guided Hands. In this video, we will be learning how to use Guided Hands, an assistive device that enables people with limited hand mobility to write, paint, draw, and access technology. To begin, place Guided Hands on a flat and sturdy surface, ensuring that all corners are supported and at a comfortable writing height. You can also place the device on a wheelchair tray or lap tray. Guided Hands has four different hand pieces, tailored to different levels of hand impairment and different sizes for adults and children. Our spherical hand pieces are designed for individuals who are able to rest their hand on a ball-shaped object with minimal grasping efforts. Our flat hand pieces are designed for individuals who have spasticity in their hands to allow the fingers to curl underneath. Choose the handpiece that is the most comfortable for you. Each handpiece has a hole on either end. This is what makes it ambidextrous. This is our utensil arm. Our ambidextrous handpiece allows the utensil arm to be installed in the left or right side depending on the hand you wish to use. Since I am right-handed, I will twist the end of the utensil arm in the left hole of the handpiece until it is secured in place. If you are left-handed, twist the arm into the right hole. The utensil arm is connected to a utensil holder, which includes a thumb screw to hold our utensil in place. As an example, we are going to use a pen. Insert the pen through the hole and secure the utensil into place by turning the thumb screw clockwise into the middle of the utensil until it feels secure. Each handpiece has a dovetail end which corresponds to the slot on the wrist piece. Insert the dovetail end of the handpiece into the slot. Manipulate the flexible arm to ensure that you have a clear field of view while writing. Our handpiece is connected to the wrist rest, which is ergonomically designed to have a curvature to fit your forearm. The surface is also layered with a foam padding for comfort. Grasp the handpiece and rest your wrist on the padding and secure the Velcro strap. Bend the arm downwards to ensure that the utensil can touch the writing surface. For best results, practice performing different hand movements using guided hands in order to familiarize yourself with the sliding system. Guided hands facilitates shoulder-driven movements, promoting the individual to use the gross motor skills in their shoulder rather than using the limited fine motor skills in their hand. Write your name, draw shapes, and move around all corners of the page to explore your range of motion. Use our worksheet package to practice these motions. For writing and drawing applications with a single sheet of paper, secure the sheet with a binder clip at the top. If you are right-handed, push the paper to the left-hand side to ensure you can reach all ends. Tracing sheets are a fun application for children to learn how to write with guided hands. The utensil holder can also secure a paintbrush for painting. A paint palette and water jar can easily be accessible without removing the paintbrush so you can use all of your favorite colors. Guided hands can be used to assist in fine detail paintings, a great way to promote an adult or child's self-expression or creativity. Finally, guided hands can be used with a touchscreen device and stylus. For best results, enable assistive touch in the settings of your device. Not only can you enjoy playing games, you can also type using the stylus, browse the internet, and navigate through your device with ease. You can also use guided hands as a supportive arm sliding system with a flat hand piece to access the iPad with an isolated finger or support the arm while writing. To learn how to adapt guided hands for different clients and mobility levels, please refer to our guided hands adaptations video. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you check out our Instagram page, imaginable.solutions, you will find many different children and adults of various mobility levels using guided hands in the adaptations that they've used. If you've given any of these adaptations a try, we'd love to hear about your experience. And if you thought of a new one, we'd love to hear it. You can email us at info at